An open dispute has broken out in the British government over the hasty withdrawal from Afghanistan. In an interview published on Thursday, Defence Minister Ben Wallace rejected statements by Foreign Minister Dominic Raab that the intelligence services and the military had made false prognoses about the situation in Afghanistan. It was unlikely that Kabul would fall this year, Raab had given the parliamentarians on Wednesday the central assessment. Now, Wallace told Spectator magazine, History shows us that it's not about the failure of the intelligence service, but rather the limits of the intelligence services. When the Soviet Union collapsed, when Libya collapsed, when things were done in Afghanistan, the secret services didn't fail. They were only limited, as always, at the very end. Wallace stressed that he said the game was over back in July and called for the British evacuation efforts to be accelerated. This is seen as a broadside against Raab, who was on vacation in Crete during the advance of the militant uh, Islamic Taliban and only returned a few days later. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has full confidence in Raab, according to a spokesman. The opposition Labour Party called for an end to the internal cabinet dispute. Labour Secretary expert Conor McGinn said the focus should be on bailing out the British and local Afghan workers who are still in Afghanistan. He said, while British nationals and Afghans who helped us are fighting for their lives, cabinet members are more interested in fighting for their jobs. Oh, quite true words, I must say. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.